Hey tubes, uh, tonight's project, uh, I've got these little clamps here that I'm going to try to make rod holders for my boat. They're rusted and shit, so I'm going to sand them and paint them. But, uh, they seem like they're going to do pretty good. Uh, let me get them sanded here and I'll show you again what I'm doing. All right, we've got them sanded as good as I'm going to get them, so I'm going to just go ahead and blow off all the dust. Whoa, buddy. <laughs> Too much air pressure, I guess. That's how we do it here. Screw it. Uh, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and give these guys a coat of black paint and see how they turn out. All right, well, I'll go ahead and get the other one done and give them a couple coats, and then uh, hopefully they'll be dry here in a few minutes. All right, well, I've got the black on there. Uh, it's just the first coat, but the <clears throat> paint that I'm using is a uh, really crappy paint. So I had to hang a weight from it because these damn things wanted to blow around, so I just hung a little battery to it to make it a little bit heavier. Um, hopefully, hopefully it'll turn out good. It looks like the paint's done pretty good, except for this in here. We had a few, right here where my finger's at, right there, we had a few runs. But hey, you know what, it's going on a fishing boat, who cares, you know, right? As long as it don't rust out and fuck up on me, so. But, uh, yeah, maybe here in a few minutes we'll be able to install them. Well, I got my heat gun out. Put some heat to them. Uh, nifty little thing here. It's not the best, but shit, it does what it does, you know. And uh, now, I think I'm going to give her a second coat. So, I'll keep falling, you piece of shit. Yeah, I've got paint all over my hands, so might as well give her a second coat. Well, tubes, it looks like the day has led into the night. These guys aren't drying that fast, so uh, we're just going to have to continue tomorrow, bright and early. And uh, at the end of the video, we'll show you how I'm going to install these on my boat. Probably just use some uh, metal screws. We call them self-tappers. So uh, hopefully they'll be dry by then. All right, well, it's the next day here, and uh, I got my uh, holders for my boat. They're painted. They're not too bad. And uh, I did them once, once over, and like I said, they're kind of sticky a little bit, but it may not be too bad once they're fully dried. Uh, but yeah, these here are the pole holders here, and let's see if I can get the motion. You just clamp your uh, into your rod right there, and the tip of your rod in there keeps them out of the way. And here we have the uh, self tapper screws that I'm going to be using. They're not very big. I'd say maybe about an inch, and the splines that's going through my boat. They're about an inch and a half, two inches. So we should be good on clearance tubes. Um, well, let's get her done. All right, well, I've got it uh, marked out where I want it to be. It's going to sit 
just like this right here. So uh, I don't have a uh, tripod right now on me, so I'll just have to go ahead and get this one here mounted, and then let you guys see the product after I get it mounted. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get this in here mounted. All right, then we'll get a little bit of a tighten. the self tapper screw in so uh but there worked out pretty good let me go ahead and get the other one in well there you go tubes got a uh rod holder for my boat take a little walk over here and take a peek at them Didn't turn out too bad, guys. These here, all of them work. Hold the hold the poles in nice and nice and uh, firm. And they're not they're not going anywhere. So, well, I'll let you guys know if I have any other projects. Talk to you later, Stoops.